A new ceasefire, be it announced by President Petro Poroshenko on December 9, began with massive artillery bombardment by Ukraine forces in the early hours of the Day of Silence. Novorossiya was heavily shelled by Gyatsint and Akatsya field guns and Grad rocket launcher systems, wrote Donetsk reporter Oleg Ismailov. The journalist obviously does not expect the Ukrainian forces to make good on their own president's peace initiatives. The set record of all previous ceasefires in Donbas suggests to its residents that the silence will last no longer that the Ukrainian cyborg can load a new shell into its mortar gun, Ismailov said. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says he is certain that Russia will overcome the negative effects of EU sanctions. The sanctions have not benefited anyone yet, Lavrov told a news conference following a meeting with his Belgian counterpart Didier Reinders on Tuesday. We will overcome the problems that have emerged as a result of unfriendly actions by the EU and other countries. Too bad that educated Europeans think sanctions will be able to change Russia's policy towards Ukraine, he added. With the much-anticipated release of a report on the CIA's torture techniques in the Bush administration's year-long war on terror, U.S. government facilities, including embassies and military bases, are on high alert. The Senate Intelligence Committee on Tuesday will release its 480-page executive summary on the CIA's controversial use of torture against suspected Al-Qaeda members detained at black sites in secret locations in Europe and Asia. Although few details on the report have been released, sources familiar with the documents say it reveals the CIA's use of horrifying threats to obtain information from detainees. Militians from the Islamic State, a radical Sunni group controlling large swathes of Iraq and Syria, publicly beheaded a man accused of blasphemy, Reuters reports. The man was executed in Sulok, a town located in the Syrian province of Raqqa, on Monday. A crowd of people, including children, watched the event, according to Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a UK-based NGO monitoring situation in Syria. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.